Now, the worst humanitarian crisis of our generation. That's what the United Nations Refugee Agency has called the fallout of the Syrian civil war. It has forced half the pre-war population to leave their homes. The UN says four million people have fled abroad to escape the conflict. Many of them have gone to neighboring countries, Jordan, Lebanon, Turkey and Iraq. Well, Turkey is home to the largest number of Syrian refugees. So let's take you to Istanbul. We can join the BBC Selene Jarrett, who is there for us. So then how has this massive influx of refugees affected uh, Turkey? Well, Turkey is under tremendous strain, of course. More than 1.8 million Syrian refugees live uh, in Turkish borders at the moment. And this number is set to increase as long as the Syrian war carries on. Turkey has already spent more than $6 billion to keep these uh, Syrian refugees either in uh, refugee uh, camps uh, at the border or feeding them, providing them uh, refuge uh, within the borders. But only it received, Turkey received only more than $300 million uh, from international community. So that's why why uh, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has repeatedly called on the international community to provide more aid to Turkey to help it cope with this tremendous number of Syrian refugees. And it has also called on the European governments especially to keep uh, their borders open for the Syrian refugees coming in. Turkey is under financial strain but there is of course as well a social strain within the community as well because these are large numbers. Only in June for instance more than 20 4,000 Syrian refugees made it across the border from Syria into Turkey. And Syrian refugees are not only in the border towns, but also they're spread across the country. In May, for instance, in Istanbul, there was tension between the Syrian community and local Turks and Kurds, and even people got stabbed. So there is social tension, there is financial tension, and Turkish, Turkish government, Turkey president, asks for more help from the international community to be able to cope with this tremendous tragedy.